Hey, CPO here. Uh, today I want to talk about the uh, Roberg G31 fly barless system that I got for my heli. Um, very excited to check this out. I've been wanting to open it up since I got it, but I wanted to open it up with you guys. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm getting pretty close to getting into some serious build time, uh, hopefully, uh, on the heli so that uh, I need to start looking at these parts and figuring out what all I have and, and how it works. So I thought I would start with this. Uh, I ordered this from Robird USA, um, as you can see from the uh, the tag here on the box. It came sealed in a uh, uh, plastic box, <clears throat> and uh, uh, you know I just excited about it. Um, and I got to tell you, I I'm mostly excited um, at the support I've already seen from Robird uh, USA. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I've I even got an email uh, from Scott uh, from the company, just you know, a friendly. Here's some advice building your heli. I mean, he saw my my uh, my build um, thread and uh, offered up some advice uh, to help me build it uh, so that I can have less problems up front. Um, gave me some advice, uh, not even having anything to do with the the uh, fly barless system. So. I'm already seeing fantastic support. Uh, he pointed me to, uh, you know, obviously where videos are for for the Roberg. There's been plenty of unboxings. There's plenty of instructional videos uh, that people are putting out on this particular system. Lots of threads about it. Um, this is my first fly barless system, uh, so I'm uh, I'm going to be learning all the way uh, as I go here. But I just wanted to share with you, uh, those of you that are watching my build. Uh, I told you I was going to go through all the parts uh, that I have and why I picked them. Uh, I pick the Robird uh, system uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, there were some interesting things that I thought. I was originally dead set on getting the uh, ZYX system, uh, whether it be from Taro or the rebranded uh, Hobby King uh, version, same same gyro as far as I'm aware. Uh, and I was almost uh, like a non-issue, dead set. I looked a little bit at the Align fly barless system, um, the 3, 3GX, and, uh, you know, it seemed like for the money, the, uh, the ZYX was the way to go, or ZYXS, actually, I was going to get the one with the satellite uh, capability. And then I ran across this Roberg, and I didn't know a lot about it, I didn't see a lot of information about it, um, and it's, comes to find out, it's pretty new, it just got released, uh, you know, recently. Um, so I started digging in and figuring out what the features were. It was a little more expensive than I wanted to spend. Um, one thing I did learn uh, from all of my research on the forums and the web and YouTube is uh, I didn't really want to skimp out on the fly barless system. Um, so I was prepared to buy um, some quality uh, system. I mean, obviously there's there's a difference between buying quality and you know buying pro level you know three four hundred dollar uh, units five hundred dollar units. I would have loved to have had a unit that had a bailout uh, auto leveling feature. I just don't have that kind of cash. Uh, although I will admit that would be really cool, especially for a first heli because, uh, you know, just the, the bailout feature would be awesome. Uh, but at any rate, this, this uh, particular uh, gyro does have a lot of features that I didn't see in the other uh, under $100 uh, price range um, fly barless systems. Uh, a couple things I did like is the fact that I can use two satellite uh, receivers in uh, in this, uh, and actually I did buy um, two Spectrum DSM X remote receivers, um, the SATs for it. Um, and uh, you know the only downside is I had to have uh, an actual full receiver system so that I could bind it uh, the the two SATs, but that's a whole other story altogether. Uh, but it does have uh, has a governor function, uh, which is really cool. I was originally going to get the governor function. I was looking for um, an ESC that had a governor, and those are kind of you know sketchy on the low end uh, ESCs as to how well the governor works. This thing has a governor on it, so I'll probably use it uh, even even though that my ESC does have a governor feature. 
Uh, it does have a vibration analysis and logging, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, uh, head vibration and tail vibration independently monitored, uh, you know, with with uh, graphs and and uh, some analysis there um, to help you reduce vibration. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, so, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of software updates, got, you know, got that going. And, uh, and like I said, the support seems to be great. The fact that I could go straight to Rober USA, you know, throw in an order in a couple days, have it show up in my mailbox is kind of cool. Um, but at any rate, uh, this is the system. Um, you know, go check it out if you haven't heard of it. Um, you know, you probably have, but if you're new to the heli scene like me, there's the big name stuff that is always there. The Align, the Tarot, you know, 3GX. Um, Robird is making its way around, um, but you might have to go look it up if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, so anyway, let's pop this thing open. And uh, it's just got this slip cover here, and there's the... Uh, I don't. I do have a hobby knife around here somewhere. Here it is. Just got to break this uh, seal here. And what we have inside is a plastic uh, case, which is kind of cool. And immediately, I can see a big blue USB cord and some cables. So. Uh, we're gonna check this out. And I have yet another, this is the Robird uh, seal here uh, that I've gotta break to get into this thing. There's a seal on both sides, uh, but obviously I can, if I get one, I'm okay. Um, so here's what's uh, what's in there. I'm gonna zoom this out just a touch. All right, so we have the USB cable, another bag of cables. We have a gyro, and we have what looks like some uh, some foam core uh, sticky tapeness. Uh, for mounting. Let's see what kind of cables we have in here. My, this is a test of my dexterity getting this thing open. This is for a satellite uh, receiver cable here. I'm going to move this USB out of the way. It's got a label SRX, and uh, it has two of those, because of course uh, this can handle dual satellite receivers. And I've got one, two, Three identical jumpers, four identical jumpers, it looks like. And then uh, this guy here, which is the brushless RPM sensor. So this would be for the governor feature, I'm assuming. I, uh, you know, still have to figure this out as I go, but get this zoomed in for you. So it comes with a hobby wing RPM sensor. Which is very cool. And uh, that's what that is. And then we got uh, this guy right here, which is the, uh, the star of the show. The actual uh, gyro unit itself. I'm gonna cut this open. can't believe how small all these parts are you know you look at these pictures and even this video you know everything's all blown up so you can see it and then you hold it in your hand and you realize how tiny everything is I I had no concept of how how big or small things like servos were gonna be you know so this is kind of interesting so this is the unit itself 
uh, and it's got uh, LEDs for status and settings. It's got connectors as you can see here. Um, gain, SR1, there's an SR2 over here. Uh, motor, servo, 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 and servo tail. So it's got a place for the three cyc cyclets and the tail. Um, and it's my understanding, I'm not sure which one of these is going to be used for the, uh, the governor feature just yet, but it's my assumption that it's probably going to be this first one here. But at any rate, I'm just going to go look at the manual uh, online. Actually, Scott, when he... Uh, when he sent me my order confirmation, he sent me uh, the online documentation, the manual, and all that stuff. So I just haven't had a chance to look at it. I'm going kind of slow, uh, but I was I was excited to take it out of the box and uh, and show you what all came with it because I know uh, depending on where you order from, it seems like some people are getting certain things uh, that may be different, maybe different packaging. Um, and I, I was really actually wanted to, to see about getting this RPM sensor that uh, I wasn't exactly sure if that came with it or not. Uh, so that's what we get. Even a USB cable, that's pretty cool throwing that in there. That's a simple thing, but uh, you know, it's basically a complete package here. So that is it. It is the Robird G31 fly barless system, and uh, it's going into my heli. One more thing I wanted to check out while I have you here is uh, I've always been curious if it would be small enough to fit um, inside the uh, the actual airframe of the heli. Because you know the, uh, the version 2 uh, Align and Align clones are designed to have the gyro uh, sit inside the frame. Uh, which was one of the significant changes between version one and version two. And I guess the big question is, uh, is this uh, have the dimensions to be able to handle it? So here's the uh, the bottom piece of the uh, of the frame assembly where the um, the skids are going to mount. And then it looks like this is going to fit in there uh, just fine. It's going to be really tight, though. Um, but it looks like it's going to make it. I'm assuming they probably engineered it to fit inside of there um, for people that want to do that. What I'm not sure is how much value I have. I probably won't have access to the data port. But let me see here. I'm just now. I'm, now I'm just playing around. So I hope you you don't mind. But I, my assumption is that's going to go just like that. And it looks like it looks like that data port. Uh, for the USB is going to be in just the right spot, especially when I get some double stick tape on there, um, that that will be accessible uh, installed within the heli. I probably won't be able to see or make changes to settings, um, but you know, I guess that's the price to pay for having it protected once you're once you're done and and, and ready. So, at any rate, um, there you go, the Robert G31. As seen from a, uh, a total newbie, the first time uh, ever even to see a gyro, let alone the Roberg. So uh, I'm excited about the purchase. You can get it for, let's see, I bought it from uh, Roberg USA uh, for 90 bucks. So there you go. Uh, thanks a lot, and I'll catch you on the next video.